Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News Top Stories this hour. It's target Goa, but why? Prudent Media gets you the reason behind terror threat. Terror psychosis raises issues of livelihood for many. Mickey should resign on moral grounds as he faces bigamy charges, says Churchill. And Goa's dream of getting into the elite group of Ranji shattered as Bengal and Himachal make it through. Now the news in detail. Goa, a paradise on earth, a holiday destination, a great time to be in for Christmas and of course the place to usher in the new year in style. But in the aftermath of the recent terror attacks in Mumbai, Goa has been put on high alert in view of the approaching festival season. But the real question is why terrorists want to attack Goa? Prudent Media brings to you the reasons behind Goa being on the terror radar. Why Goa? World Tourist Destination Arrival of Foreign Tourists Attack Goa, Attack the World Parties during this festival season where scores of people gather are common at various places in Goa apart from the regular discos, markets and tourist places. These places have tourists from all over the world who gather for a fun time to celebrate and make it a very special time of the year for them. This could be potentially what the terror group would want, international exposure. Precautions Elaborate security, Goa Police CRPF, RAF, Army and Navy All possible entry and exit routes secured. Considering this, the government has already taken precautionary measures for security in sensitive areas as well as all over the state. The state government surely will not want to be on the back foot in case any situation arises. Apart from the existing battalions of CRPF, RAF and the Goa police, another two battalions of CRPF have been requisitioned and are already due to arrive to boost the security in the state. But this threat is badly hitting tourism industry. Tourism woes. Tourism industry suffering. No tourists. Christmas and New Year amidst security. As Goa and Goans have a tradition of ushering the New Year by burning an old man to mark the end of bad things that happened in the old year, this will be happening this year as well, albeit with a lot of security, frisking and maybe a little inconvenience to everyone in Goa. But better safe than sorry. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Slowdown in tourist inflow has affected almost everyone in coastal villages in Goa. From motorcycle pilot to vegetable vendor, all are making less money during this peak tourism season. Here's a report. Raju runs a stall selling music CDs at Anjuna Beach, but these days he spends more time playing some pastime games with few foreigners. He has time to play as there are few tourists coming to his CD stall. Suresh Dabolkar is a motorcyclist pilot but he too is sitting idle for most of the day. Rohan Bera runs a business in vegetable and fruits but these days most of his clients which include hoteliers, shack owners are buying less provision from him. And Lakshman Rathod now finds paying rent of his clothes shop very difficult at beach side. Suresh Dabolkar, Raju Johan, Rohan Bera and Lakshman Rathod and thousands of others have been badly affected by tourism slowdown. This slowdown has already affected big and small hotels and shacks in Goa. But these small businesses are facing issues of livelihood. Suresh Dabolkar has never seen such a recession in tourism since he started his motorcycle taxi business. Now he makes less money. <laughs> आम्ही इथल्या हरशी हरशी जायच्या करता आम्ही दहा एक हजार जोडताले पाच हजार पासून जोडणं आमची आता राजू चौहान टू सिट्स आयडल इन हिज सिटी स्टॉल जस्ट लाईक हिज अदर कंपॅनियन एट अंजुना बीच आता ई पी सिडी घेताले कोण लोक हाले घेतालो न्हू दर्यार नाले कोण घ्यायचोच ना तेच प्रॉब्लेम झाले टुरिस्ट ना म्हणून आणि बिझनेस इज सॉलिड डाऊन झाला 
As purchasing power of people has got reduced and hotels affected, Ronbera does less business at his vegetable stall. We are in the tourist point. Here, the sack hotel is made for them. But here, there is no specialist for them. But here, there is no tourist for them. The case of boutique and clothes shop owners is also not different. They also say that they are making loss. Suppose there is 4-5 lakh dhanda, then it depends on 50-60 thousand. It is very low. आर रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम पंची राकेश कंदोलकर अ फ्रेंच वुमन वॉज फाउंड डेड इन अ ट्रेलर पार्क ने वागत और बीच इन गोवा वाइल अ मैन बिलीव टू बी हर कंपेनियन वॉज लाइक अनकॉन्शियस नेक्स्ट टू हर The trailer equipped with modern amenities including a mini kitchen was found parked near Vagator Beach 25 kilometers from state capital Panji on Sunday. Police suspect it could be a case of drug overdose. Although no passport was found, police narrowed down on the nationality of woman from the number plate on the trailer in which her body was found. Police said that they would try and identify the victim on the basis of foreigner registration forms that hotels or guest houses are required to submit to the police these forms have the personal detail of foreign guest a reporter from vagator sunny narvekar let's take a short break stay tuned